so you've started your online business, you've set up that business Instagram account, now how the heck do you actually grow it? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through my own methods on how I've actually grown my Instagram account completely organically and how I've actually attracted my ideal audience and clients to me. social media managers and designers who are really looking to build that standout brand online and live the laptop lifestyle. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Shannon and I'm a business and marketing coach and prior to actually launching my own online business and really booking that one-way plane ticket to Bali, I actually used to work for an Instagram marketing company, so I do know a heck of a lot about Instagram. I know, especially from working at that company, that so many people tend to actually focus on vanity metrics and hitting X amount of followers rather than really attracting the right people to their page and really building that loyal community. I promise you that focusing on those vanity metrics, buying followers left and right, doing the whole follow and unfollow game, and really just being in a bench of those engagement pods really isn't gonna do crap for your own business. Instead, you're most likely gonna end up with fake accounts, ghost followers, and people who genuinely don't actually care about your content, your business, or your brand, AKA they aren't actually moving your business forward in the slightest. So instead of actually focusing on those vanity metrics, today I'm actually gonna walk you through my own tips and strategies to actually help you grow your Instagram account completely organically and really attract those ideal followers to you. Now my first tip for you is to actually go ahead and optimize your Instagram profile for search. So chances are most people aren't actually typing in your name or even your business name as they don't actually know who the heck you are quite yet. So instead, how people could actually potentially find your account is by optimizing your Instagram bio for search. What I mean by this is by actually including keywords in your own Instagram handle, if that is something that you do choose to do, or in your own Instagram name, this will actually increase your own chance to be discovered. So for example, let's say that you're a VA and your ideal clients or photographers like this account here, you can actually go ahead and put those specific keywords like photographer and VA in to your own name so that you have a way higher chance of actually showing up in that search tab when a photographer is actually looking for that specific VA. Or as you can actually see from this wedding photographer here, she specifically put Hawaii photographers so that people actually searching for photographers based in Hawaii could actually potentially land on her account and decide to hire her for her own services. Now the next thing that you actually want to go ahead and do is just make sure that your bio does in fact capture your ideal audience attention and specifically tells them who you are, what you do, and how you actually help them. And this is typically called an I help statement. And as you can see right here in my own bio, I specifically help those early stage VAs, social media managers, and designers actually get visible, craft that marketing strategy that actually converts, and ultimately live that laptop lifestyle. So if my ideal client, those early stage service-based business owners, actually were to come across my account, whether through hashtags, through a comment, from YouTube, etc., they would actually know exactly what I do, how I can help them, and that transformation I actually help get them to. Now, tip number two is to go ahead and actually understand the algorithm as well as your ideal audience's interests. Now, nobody but Instagram truly understands how the crap the algorithm works, considering it does change regularly, but the more that you actually know about the algorithm, the more that you can go ahead and leverage it and have it work for you and not against you. Now, the algorithm basically determines who will and who will not actually see your content. And this is really based on three key factors, these being interest, relevancy, and relationships. For interest, the more that somebody actually engages and interacts with your content, the more likely it is to actually appear at the top of their feed or explore page. Now for relevancy, whenever you go ahead and post on Instagram, the algorithm basically gives your specific piece of content a relevancy score. So basically what this means is that the more relevant, AKA does this content piece actually relate and interest your ideal follower, the more likely it is to actually be seen in their feed and actually be seen by others. So ultimately, Instagram really does wanna keep 
keep people on their app for as long as humanly possible. So they do go ahead and curate your feed based on what they think will actually keep you interested, keep you engaged, and on the app way longer. So that's exactly why you do really want to be intentional with your content, have it speak directly to your ideal audience, and ultimately interest them so they do really keep engaging, coming back for more, and ultimately drawing those ideal followers to your page. And lastly, relationships. So Instagram is constantly tracking which accounts you've actually built relationships with continuously. And the deeper your relationship actually goes, the higher it actually ranks that particular person or account within your own feed. So if you are constantly engaging with, let's say, Kelly, for instance, who is one of your ideal followers, you are commenting on her posts, you're actually liking, sending DMs back and forth, the more likely she is actually going to go ahead and engage with your own content, comment, like, share, etc. Because you've actually established some sort of relationship, she is way more likely to go ahead and see your content way higher up on her feed and her stories explore page and you hers. So by really knowing these three key factors, you can go ahead and actually work with the Instagram algorithm. You can go ahead and actually check your insights, especially if you have a business account, which I highly recommend doing, and see which types of content pieces are actually performing the best and go ahead and create similar ones so as to draw more interest and people in. You can actually go ahead and build those strong relationships with those ideal followers so you do see way more of their content and vice versa. And I actually do have a video right here where I do share with you how to go ahead and build those strong relationships in the DM. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check it out. And lastly, you can also be way more consistent by actually posting at a frequency that you personally can maintain so that you do remain relevant, top of mind, and ultimately are intentional about each and every content piece that you ultimately produce. Now, tip number three is to actually be authentically you and share your story. So if you're just trying to be like everybody else out there on Instagram posting the same generic content, you ultimately will not stand out and attract your ideal followers or community to you. Nowadays, people really do not care to actually see these perfectly curated feeds. Instead, they more so crave real, authentic, and valuable content. So you really want to be posting content that your ideal follower can relate to and resonate with, content that they can actually go ahead and engage with and be a part of that conversation, and content that truly impacts them and their lives. For example, when I actually used to work for that Instagram marketing company, I had so many Instagram consultations with wedding photographers. I do not know why we had so many wedding photographers come to us, but we did. And when I actually looked at their bio and their content, I really could not tell what separated them from all the millions of other photographers out there. I had no idea who the person truly was behind the lens, who I would potentially be working with if I actually went ahead and booked them, and therefore their ideal followers are probably thinking the same exact thing when they go ahead and land on their page. So that is really why incorporating your own unique story, personality, perspective, and expertise within your own content is so dang important because that is ultimately what's gonna help draw your ideal followers to your page, have them say like, wow, this is my go-to gal for X topic, I'm gonna go ahead and press follow and actually stick around. Somebody who actually does this really well within her own content is Evie Rupp. So you can go ahead and take this Instagram post, for example, where she does share with her audience that she is currently going through that season where her business is just taking a lot out of her and what's really been going on behind the scenes. So through this post, her audience can actually realize that she is not superhuman. She does have her down days, she's real, and her audience can clearly relate to this post as well because this is actually one of her more like posts over all the others. Another example is my post right here where I do educate my followers on being a generalist versus a specialist. So I actually went ahead and I gave them value. I incorporated my own unique story into it and I did add a splash of sass into it just to make it more funny and entertaining. So when crafting your own content, definitely play around with Instagram's different features, whether this be static posts, reels, IGTVs, stories, etc., and really show who that person is behind the brand and ultimately what makes you you because that is really what's going to actually allow your ideal followers to connect and relate to you. And the very last tip that I have for you is to go ahead and build that brand awareness as well as visibility. So in order to actually gain those new ideal followers and really have people actually know who in the 
world you are, you do need to get your brand in front of them and actually build that visibility. So while yes, engaging and really taking that time to actually find those ideal followers on social media is so important, you also want to have an avenue where they find you as well. So a few different ways that you can go ahead and actually increase your visibility online is by number one, doing collaborations. So go ahead, find people who are either in your same exact industry or those that even have a similar audience to you or could find some kind of value from actually collaborating and go ahead and jump on a Facebook Live with them, an Instagram Live, be a guest on their podcast or even do a guest blog. But something to know here is that when you do go ahead and you actually collaborate with others, you actually want to be thinking, okay, how can this benefit them, their business and their audience and in turn build your own brand awareness as well. And the next thing that you can actually do is cross promote your content, which essentially means distributing your content through multiple channels and how people can actually find you through these different channels is by including your social media links within your email marketing, on your blog, if you have a YouTube channel and definitely within your own Instagram bio. But when it does come to actually cross promoting your own content, you do want to be mindful that you are actually mixing up these content pieces, the formats as each each of these platforms are actually very unique and people don't want to see the same copy and paste post on each individual platform or else they actually won't be enticed to go ahead and check out your other platforms. And lastly, lead magnets, otherwise known as freebies. So creating something free as well as valuable for your ideal follower can actually help you build up that visibility as well as build up that know, like, and trust factor. So for example, for me, I actually have this freebie right here, which is a free masterclass to help you stand out and attract those dream clients. And you can actually grab it in the description box below if you want but I've actually included it within my own Instagram bio on Pinterest. I promote it within my own Instagram stories and I'll actually be putting it in my own blog content once my updated website is actually released. So those are some of my top tips and strategies to go ahead and organically attract your ideal followers to you. If you do have any questions at all, go ahead and actually drop them down below or send me a DM on Instagram at Shannon Siegel and I'd be more than happy to connect with you. I know that when you are just starting your Instagram account, it does feel like it is growing insanely slowly, but just know that it does take time and it is way better to actually grow slowly and truly attract those ideal followers and community members to you rather than actually attracting people to your page that don't move your business forward in any way. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make today count and I'll see you in the next video.